Hey there, Scott Wallace from GatorVentures.com. A year ago I made a video of how to propagate bamboo from comb cuttings. I do a lot of bamboo propagation. Primarily it's from uh, doing divisions, from taking a clump of the parent plant, putting it in a pot, letting it grow, stabilize, and root out, and, and then go from there. Comb cuttings are a, another method used to propagate bamboo since bamboo really never sets seed except for once in its lifetime. You cannot typically go out there and just go to your local store and buy bamboo seed or go to existing bamboo plants and go pluck seeds every year like you do with many flowering plants and, and plant something new and grow something from that. So what we do with comb cutting, as you saw in my last video, you take a, a stalk of bamboo and you chop it up into pieces at each node and then you bury it and let it go. Now it doesn't work with every type of bamboo, mostly uh, this works with the tropical clumpers, does not work with running types of bamboo, and not all tropical clumpers will work like this. For instance, uh, bamboo some uh, multiplex will typically not propagate this way. If you take a whole comb though, whittle away some of the, uh, trim down a lot of the branching and leaves and bury the whole thing in the ground, you will make new bamboo through whole comb burial. And that's, uh, we'll do that in another video coming up. But for now, let's go ahead and look at the results from last year's propagations. Okay, so these should seem really familiar to you if you watched my last video regarding this. And as you can see, a lot of the combs turn brown. Well, first of all, really, you notice there's a lot of growth on these. If you compare this in my other video, these things were just some green little sticks or green big sticks in there. And now, lots of growth, uh, lots of new branching, new leaves. You can see what's left of the comb here is brown, looks dead. But everything you see here, new leaves. This is a little bit, but this is all new growth coming out from these. All of this here, so you see this coming up. This is all brand new growth. And uh, overall, I think, uh, I don't want to say it's a 100% success rate. I'll know for certain uh, once we dig these up and pot them up. But uh, the, my only wish now going back and looking at this is lesson learned. You see a lot of palm trees in here. Maybe you don't, maybe you do. These are all palm trees. I grow palm trees on the side as well. And these were all seeds I was germinating of a Boudia species. And uh, I thought they were pretty much done dirt germinating. So I recycled the dirt. And I used that for this and just kind of planted them in bulk. And boy, got about 45 baby palm trees mixed in with this too. So it's going to be kind of interesting dumping this out and potting them up and trying to save all the palm trees too. Uh, aside from that, the only other lesson learned really from this is... Uh, I'd go to do this again this year. These all be potted up in individual pots uh, left to root that way versus uh, community potted like this because now I actually have to, again, dig them up, disturb the new roots, which can cause some problems potentially, hopefully not, and then repot them. If I did them individually, they'd be in their own pot, they'd be rooted and uh, wouldn't have anything to worry about. They'd just keep on growing, put up new shoots this year, and then be up into a sellable size so again here same thing as the other pot you know dead looking combs some new uh new growth and all right so let's dig one up all right so i was trying to carefully dig one of these up and uh i'm just going through a mess of roots here so uh what i did was just kind of pulled up on it and oh my feet here you can see that these bamboos are pretty well rooted in. You can see the mass of uh, roots underneath there. So what I'm going to have to do actually is uh, cut through all these roots and divide them one at a time and then pot them up. So uh, I guess we'll get started on that. All right, so I got one out here and as you can see, there's a lot of root mass growing out from that branch node or the node on the comb. That's kind of what you're looking for. You know, it's uh, nothing too scientific, just nothing too novel, but it certainly is making a new plant from an existing plant. And uh, as we spin around here, actually the first two I dug up, <coughs> nothing. So yeah, I mentioned earlier about possible 100% success rate. I lied, actually two of them so far. So we're one for three. And uh, we'll keep going. But uh, as far as this goes, you know, I'm not gonna 
carry on too much longer. That's uh, how you make a new bamboo propagate it from uh, using cone cuttings. This will go in its own pot, let it grow out a year or two, and it'll be uh, quite nice and uh, ready for somebody else uh, to enjoy in a new home. That's it for now. Uh, be sure to like the video and subscribe to my channel. Thanks a lot. Till next time.